we're gonna do something like this. So, a V-shape, essentially. Or, something I, what I don't have either, which actually could re work really well. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mirror that. Right click on the mirror mode. I want to mirror, uh, am I gonna mirror it like this? Hold on, that's just diagonal mirror. Mirror eight ways, yes, eight way mirror. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's let's take that as a. Basic shape. We don't have any UFOs yet. And UFOs, of course, are very fun. Now, seeing this, of course, being my starting ship. <laughs> Ooh, tempting. Tempting indeed, but let's not. Um, I'm gonna add, you know what, as a starting ship, it should not have the big guns. Now, I'm gonna go with small and big ones. Um, mirror mode, only vertical axis, please. Thank you. These will be, these are, these are the smaller versions, the iron blasters of the uh, heavy iron blaster. And... Am I going with the extra armor bits? Yeah, I am. Straight away, right from the get-go. This will be a very expensive ship. For a starting ship. You can't afford it as a normal starting ship. Let's put it like that. Definitely not. Okay, there we go. Then I need a power source. Going big, straight away. Um, cockpits. I think I can get away with a single one, right? Although I can't really center line it. Because I need a center line walkway to these armor pieces. Because these armor pieces need to be powered. Yeah, that's gonna be a pain. Crew. No, wait, engines first. Um, we have used the standard engines. We have used the plasma thrusters. Let's once more go for the smaller plasma thrusters. Um, they're not quite as powerful, but I think for this ship set, it will look good. Not sure I got the right ones though, but let me check in a second. Mm. Forty crew members. Whew. Yeah. Yeah, no. Uh, thrusters. Oh, mirror mount, please. Although... Hold on, is there a difference in statistics? Hit points, 2,000. 2,000. Not in, in, in defense capabilities. Yeah, okay. So let's get you installed like that. Oh, and I forgot one, didn't I? I did. So, 
maximum speed. As you can see, these thrusters are like... Garbage? Well, no, they're maneuvering thrusters. So, yeah, these thrusters are not big. Not big at all. In fact, they're pretty slow. They're pretty... They're, it's, it's, it, it will be slow ships. Even for my doing. Um... Rename folder instead of the purple set. These will be the UFOs. And let us see. These thrusters are yellow. So I think base white with yellow, bright yellow decals. Let's see. This is a bit too much, isn't it? Something like that. And mirror mode, can we do that? Yes, please. It's not quite connected, but I like it. I like it, sir. Um, let us see. Where is my triangle and there you are one two three one two i am a muffin that can't count there we go layer two gray gray would work however i want that layer underneath the yellow to do this. Tell me, if I color the thrusters, oh yeah, then the white lines will go away. Excellent. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what it lacks. I know what the ship lacks. Um, utility, exterior lights. There and there. Make it so. And these lights will become yellow, bright yellow, or how about blue? Okay, save ship design. Small, unidentified, flying object. Let's quickly get a... You know what? Give me a fighter. A Wraith attack ship. Normal AI, please. Allegiance, player two. You will engage the UFO. In fact, you might actually win against this UFO. But we'll see. Now let me introduce you to the main weapons of this UFO. Yeah, the fighter will win. These uh, energy cannons are just insane. But that's not the point. The point was more to show off the guns of this ship. 
Maybe I should add one big one. Or I should add more defenses to this vessel. Because the defenses are not really holding out right now. That said, though, we are actually doing... Wraith is not even a not even a hundred thousand though. The UFO is what twice, <laughs> even more. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, two more hits on this guy. It's pretty impossible to aim these guns. That is a bit of an issue. So it's random fire only. Um, that said though, I think the Wraith... No, we can still supply the gun. Barely. But the gun is almost dead. I mean, it would be a disgrace if this UFO could not kill this. Okay, gun is cut off. It can no longer fire. However... <laughs> We almost had a main reactor go up. And if you're wondering what would happen if a main reactor would go up... That would happen. So yeah. Gonna add some extra armor pieces. To protect the interior. Um, fire extinguishers, please. Um, over here, sure. And over there. Airlock hatch, just a single one. Over here. There we go. Reset crew, please. We <laughs> and the gun is trying. The bullet was trying to lock on, but it couldn't. Good days, good days. Now, safe ship design, small UFO. Why are there no crew members there? Because you can no longer get there. Now you can. Save ship design. Again. There we go. A small UFO. No idea what the front of the ship is. So yeah, you, you can recognize it with the guns, of course. Now, talking about the guns, with a new UFO bit, mirror mode, 8-way, I would like to essentially say copy and make you a bit bigger but that is not perfectly round is it one two three one two three there get rid of this bit You are not perfectly aligned, why not? What the hell is going on? Oh, of course, of course, yeah. We. <laughs> you can do some funky shit here. <laughs> wrong you need to go one two three one two three there we go 
Ah, that went a bit messier than I uh, would have liked. Pardon me on that one. Increase shielding, increase armor. Let's start with the armor increase, of course. Of course, we took out all our weapons by doing this. So, weapons. I would like this ship to carry six smaller blasters. And you're going all the way inside, like so. Um, right, big ass power plant. Armor, more. There we go, getting rid of the annoying flashes as well. fill you up okay now first things first most important things first exterior lights please i want some there and i want them there okay then we need to see if we can get this ship working um ooh. Well, that would work. It's a bit overkill, but it works. However, if I take you out, we're good. Besides, we still we need a dose. Um, crew quarters. I think we can move those around a bit. Let's do that to begin with. Tell me, can I do this? Yes, I can. And then we have enough crew. Make it so. Damn. One engine not being... Well, one engine, meaning four engines that are not being uh, served right now. Let's do that. And that should get all engines up and running. Of course, this is a very exposed ship. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. And, oh, look at that. Uh, this might be excellent. I need a new gun crew. Um, main gunners. And my main gunners will have a white uniform. You know what, just name them Gunners, because they are going to... Now you know what, set all priorities to zero. Thank you. And then you will operate the guns. You will supply batteries to them if there is a serious emergency. Otherwise, no. And you guys will be, but I also have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I need two full crew quarters to be used for my gun crew. There we go. Now, small UFO versus big UFO. Please get into position. The big UFO, ooh, is really struggling with uh, propulsion, but hey, don't care. Allegiance Pirates. Please say... Save attack defaults, and you as well. I know what they're trying to do. They want to get into the range for the... Uh, special armor pieces, because those armor pieces can actually do damage to an enemy hull. However, that damage is so low, I don't take it serious. And save ship design. 
Magnesium UFO. And fire when ready. Three main guns have been fired. And there go the small ones as well. And yeah, look at the damage. Ooh, smaller guns are being knocked out by the, uh, the armor there. But it's not strong enough to defeat the big armor, uh, the big shots. And as you can see, without shields, these weapons will rip a ship to shreds. It's a matter of time now. However, let's take a look on the other side. Small shots are being blocked off, just not a lot. It is a nice defense though, it is a nice defense. Where There's another big shot coming in. Two, three even. Ooh, that might be the end. No, she survives. More or less. More or less than more. And that's the end of the reactor. And of the UFO. Nice. Damage report on this ship. Not really. Um, I'm missing an airlock. How dare I? I know. Right. One day I'll learn to place it right away, but... Nah. Two airlocks. You know what? Let's just get four of them in. Propulsion, though. Propulsion. I'm already regretting only using these uh, thrusters, but I'm gonna stick with it. These ships will be the slowest ships you'll ever see. <clears throat> okay. Also, I have the feeling, not quite sure why, I have the feeling something is wrong with the decals that I had. Also, they're just not very useful anymore. <coughs> because the alignment of this ship is different, so I need to get rid of all of them. And I need to redo all of them. So. Let us quickly. Get to work on that regard. Luckily it is. With mirror mode easy enough to set up these decals. Without it, it would be a bloody pain. Um, hold on, I used a different one there. That one. Okay. And then this one. Let's do something akin to this. Let's see. Six. Hold on. Whoops. Pardon me. That was the wrong one. There we go. this bit here. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. All lamps. Blue, please.
Gives a bit of a dome effect, doesn't it? Also, the ship can move with 2.83 meters a second. Oh man. That is pretty slow. <laughs> Safe ship design, medium UFO. Okay, the next UFO must be faster. It must be faster than the medium one. Oh, you're still in pirate mode, aren't you? Delete. Well, let's see what happens when a medium one gets hit by a big gun. <laughs> or three. That happens. You know what? Hold on. I, I gotta do this now. I gotta do this now. One, two, three, four. And let's move you a bit backwards. One, two, three, four. You'll get two smaller ones there. You get two smaller ones there. Okay. And you get deleted. This will be player two. AI normal. You will be player one. AI normal. Clear debris. Thank you very much. <coughs> A UFO battle. Even if we speed it up, it will be slow. Oh, small ships are engaging. Yeah, look at how fast they are compared to the big ones. Mm -mm -mm. A lot of shots are being neutralized, but some shots are coming in. Also, we're seeing the first big shots coming in now from both sides to eliminate the small UFOs. With great success, I might add. Ha <laughs> ha! Ooh, big UFOs are under attack now. By the small ones. Oh, that's fun. Uh-oh, ouch time. <laughs> Let's follow this shoe. You hit your own ship. Luckily, friendly fire is disabled. Yeah, that just did not log on, did it? All right, this U UFO is essentially disabled. So is this one. Two ships down, three ships down. Four down, five down. Yeah, the small UFOs are essentially destroyed, except these two that are having their own private duel. Ooh, big shot got neutralized there by the armor. As the last of the small UFOs on that section go down. The debris is hindering the firefight, but that's okay. I do wish I could color these weapons. Ooh, that's a big hit there. I missed it. Yeah, this UFO is in trouble. Ooh, it's almost dead. Mind you, it can still fire all of its, well, three of its main weapons if it wants. Shoot rotate for that though. Ooh, too late. UFO destroyed. But in exchange, a second big UFO is gone as well. Ah, I like this. I like this. They remind me a bit of Protoss mother ships, don't they? Yeah, maybe I should do that next. Try to make a Protoss uh, ship set. We can, we can do something fun these days. We got plenty of modded weapons to differentiate between all the uh, ship sets, so... Ooh. Bang! Now, if you look at this, you would say these weapons are pretty strong, right? Also, ooh, the small fight is over. Yeah, they're, they're pretty strong. However, 
If I add shields to these ships, they will, well, not completely neutralize these weapons, not at all, but it will take away the special effect that you see happening all the time, especially with the big ones. Ooh, UFO going down, UFO going down. Player one, what do I have left? A single small UFO with two guns. The rest of the ships have been destroyed. So, I'm afraid to say that player two won this civil war. <laughs> Play us, all players please, and delete. In fact, Clear everything. Thank you. Now, I need mirror mode, vertical and horizontal axis, please. One, 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 one. Make you a bit bigger. Then, delete some things that I should not want. Also, we are delete filling. That's not a good idea. Weapons. Rather than having a single heavy blaster, each side will get two heavy blasters. Why not more? I mean, you could add a lot more if you wanted to, but... It's a thrust issue, man. It's a thrust issue. I want to get at least one more thruster in on each side. Because, you know... We're slow. <laughs> we're very slow. And there we go. Something is wrong. One, four, four. What is going on here? Just looking at this difference. This thing is... Yeah, but it, it is aligned here, isn't it? Let me quickly check. Dick, 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 dick. No, no, it's not. It's not aligned. God damn it. Can I fix that? Yeah, of course I can. That should do it. Right. Double check. Tick, 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 tick. You should be aligned now. Yep, yeah, exactly. Fill it up. Not much to fill, but still. Let's make sure these engines can be Powered. Okay, okay, okay. Um, shield generators. I say it is time to start shielding these ships. And I say it's also time, instead of one giant reactor, I'm going with... Don't overdo it. I'm going with four giant reactors. Because I can, and it's still not lined up properly, is it? Ah. Sometimes I hate it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It is, but there is an armor piece there. That is what was out of alignment. 
Look at the shields, perfect. And we can still move, we got enough power. Safe ship design, this will be the, well the small, the medium. Now this will be the, blah, can't type today, shielded UFO. Now, to give you guys an idea, let's get a medium UFO in against a shielded one. You are both pirates from here on out. And your mission is to destroy one another. Now look at that. This guy can go up to 4 meters a second. The other one, 3.2. So this is a big increase in speed. I'm telling you. Now, we also have double the firepower. And let's see what happens. A shield blocked that shot. Ooh, that one passed the shields. Of course, there's still a weak spot. Come, come. A ship without a weak spot is no fun, man. It's no fun. The perfect ship... Well, it it is possible to make the perfect ship, but yeah... I prefer ships to, to have weak spots, so you can play around with it, so you can, you know panic a bit every now and then. Now I'm going to turn you completely in the hopes of saving this reactor here. Ooh. Oh no! Not my crew quarters! I literally have no idea how I'm rotating the ship now. <laughs> but you can see, um, in terms of firepower, in terms of defense, most importantly, that the shields really, they block the special abilities of these big, big guns. So they are very useful. One weapon remains in service right now. That is firing. Soon the reactor will blow. There we go. Of course, this ship has a glaring weakness right now. Let's turn off this. And the glaring weakness is why I turned the ship because I did not want for that to happen just yet. Um, I saved you, didn't I? Yes, I did. Self-destruct reactor. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you next time.